Brian again coming at you today with a video on my discus again um, just the other night as I was uh, pretty much uploading the last video I did um, I was at my desk working and I looked over and saw what you're looking at here these two uh, decided to uh, get into spawning mode again some eggs were laid um, these are the two that I've shot videos of mostly in the past um, as far as pairing up and spawning goes. Um, they haven't done this now for a couple of months to be honest with you and all of a sudden they're back at it again. They used to do it about every other week and um, I kind of wondered what was going on but uh, yeah they're back at it so that's kind of good news. Um, I don't plan on doing anything as far as taking these eggs out or that branch that they're laying on and separating these discus. I don't really have a tank ready for them right now, so I doubt that um, these eggs are going to make it, but you never know, I guess. Um, there's just too many other fish in the tank, and um, I'm sure either other fish will get out of the eggs and eat them, or these this pair will eventually eat them themselves because that's what they've done in the past they always end up eating the eggs so anyway I'll just kind of let the video roll here so you guys can kind of watch their behavior About an hour's gone by here in this clip since they uh, started laying. A, they're they're done laying eggs now. Now they're just kind of trying to fend off everything in the tank. And you can see these rummy nose tetras are trying to get in there and uh, get a little treat. All the other discus now have kind of gathered around the general area, um, wanting to eat eat at these eggs too. So they're doing. They're really working at fighting off a ton of fish. Uh, there's. I think I got 11 or 12 discus in this tank total, and there's a school of about 25 rummy nose tetra. There's a bunch of Siamese algae eaters, so they got their work cut out for them. I doubt that uh, it's going to work as far as uh, being able to fend everybody off for too long um, and save these eggs. And again, if I was uh, at this point trying to uh, get some fry out of them, I would uh, have these fish separated into a different tank or at least at this point take the driftwood that the eggs are on along with the two fish out and put them into a different tank and go from there so but yeah so that's what's going on I'll just let you kind of watch the footage here see what happens Alright, so this is the next morning. Came in and took a look, and um, we've still got eggs, and it looks like uh, all but a few of them um, got fertilized here, if I'm looking at it right. Um, 
the pair is still uh, doing a decent job of kind of hovering around it and guarding the the, uh, the area of eggs. By the way, too, this is a super mandarin passion and uh, a yellow check or yellow pigeon blood. I'm sorry um, that have paired off. So yeah, so um, so far so good, but uh, I still have my doubts that anything's going to come of this. So. Um, I'll uh, get the camera back out in a little later today and, and see what happens. Alright, so it's an hour or two later now and as you can see the uh, yellow pigeon blood has been uh, eating the eggs. Um, you know, like I said at the beginning, I didn't figure that this would take and I figured they'd end up eating their eggs, which is what they always do. There's just too many fish in this tank uh, to get a successful spawn. But um, you can see that the Super Mandarin Passion is still fighting off the other fish that are trying to get near the eggs. And uh, you know, even though there wasn't a successful spawn here, um, it, it was still fun to kind of watch this whole process. Um, you know, I'm not trying at this point to breed discus. I don't have the tanks to do it and stuff. I, I'll probably do it in the future. I'd like to get two of the same strains uh, when I breed, but you know maybe I'll see what happens with these and see what type of a strain these two uh, produce. Uh, might might have some nice coloration to them, but I just thought it was fun to watch and catch the whole process on camera. This isn't anything new. You know, this has happened quite a bit in this tank. Just hasn't happened for a few months now, so thought I would try to catch the whole thing from start to finish. And um, the only other thing uh, is obviously I could give you a shot with no eggs left, but why do that? You can see what's where, where this is all going. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, like always, you know, go over and check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. They're the exclusive bulk dealers of Southern Delight Fish Food. Um, check out the Hydra Forum. Check out uh, the Sickled Life on Blogspot. Blockspot Radio, Pet World Radio, and uh, check my uh, Facebook page out, Dolly VH on Facebook, and check out the other members of Aquatic Support Systems, Team Aquatic Support, Forrest, Jeff, Mike, Conway, and Sean. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.